Hey guys, the cube did here, and today I have a review of the Moyu 13 by 13. So I've had this cube for about a month now, and uh, I haven't really shown it on my channel at all. It's been in the background of maybe one or two of my videos, depending on when this comes out. You guys may have seen it before in the background of a video. Uh, I posted some pictures of it on my Facebook page, and I got this as a Hanukkah gift from my parents. So if you guys happen to be watching, probably not because you guys don't watch my videos. But thank you to my parents. I love you guys very much. And so, uh, anyways, this cube, I bought it from the cubicle.us, or my parents did, and they bought it on Stickered. It wasn't really a surprise, I knew it was coming because they needed some help with the ordering process. But anyways, it came unstickered because that was cheaper, and because I was going to re-sticker it uh, with my shades anyways. And I didn't actually sticker it, I'd like to thank Shane Grogan for uh, stickering it, and also Alex Devani the Nub helped sticker, I believe, part of the yellow side, and it's not really a funny story, but he was trying to do a spiral with the stickers, and then he just completely messed up. But uh, anyways, it's been solved three times. First time by Shane, because he called dibs. Then I uh, solved it, and then I scrambled it again, trying to do a cool super fill pa uh, pattern, which I think I will do for this video. It took, it's going to take me like maybe an hour to do the pattern, but uh, it's a variation of the super flip, where... Just the center is super flipped, so I super flip the whole thing, and then I unflip all the edges. So uh, that's going to take a long time to do, because uh, the last time I tried to do it, I messed up, and I was also not really paying attention to what I was doing, so I scrambled that, and then it was solved, and I've opened it for the third time. So I think that's a good work, uh, a good amount of working in into the cube. Anyways, this cube turns amazingly for what it is. It turns a lot better than the 11 by 11 which I do not have in my dorm, but I do have this. It's one of my favorite puzzles. It's just amazing. Everyone who's turned it has been amazed by the turning. And my shades, you can see all the shades. There's all the shades right there. I'm not going to scramble it because I want to have it solved for Rose City. I'm currently recording this on Wednesday, January 28th. Not really sure when I'm going to upload it. Hopefully soon, though. But anyways, this cube is a monster it's it's really heavy and let me just line these up here uh, let me do a size comparison also for you guys so a size comparison to a 57 millimeter cube let me sort of like flatten everything out here and then hold up a 57 millimeter cube so it is humongous compared to a regular cube and once you're done solving this going back to a 2x2 two or 3x3 two by three by three is just really crazy like it feels very different it feels concave almost but anyways I love this cube it turns amazing and uh, when I got it the first mold actually had a bunch of cracked pieces so the cubicle was nice enough to send a bunch of replacement pieces for the edges and Shane went through it when it was unstickered and uh, looked for cracks and I wish I had the pieces to show you guys but they sent like three whole entire bags. The bags were, I guess, a little bit bigger than this bottle caps box. I don't know if you know how big that is, but like three of those bags, a little bit bigger than that, uh, filled with pieces. And actually two bags. And then the third one I just found. But two bags full of extra pieces for the edges. Uh, and there are maybe, I want to say around 20 to 30 cracked edges. So that's a big amount. It didn't really affect the turning at all. It actually didn't affect it at all. I'm not saying why it didn't really. It just didn't affect the turning at all, but I thought it'd be nicer if this was crack-free. Except there are uh, two pieces that are still cracked. And I think I just found one. Uh, the only reason it's still cracked is because... Sorry, I'm taking a look at it closely. There were no... Uh, pieces. I think it was, let's try and get it, I think it was this inner edge that they just forgot to send. So not the center one, but the one to the right and left of it. Uh, there are two of those, I believe, around the cube somewhere that have been covered up by stickers and they don't affect the turning, but they are still cracked and uh, the cubicle just did not send those pieces. But that's fine. It's still an amazing cube and uh, as I mentioned before, it's really heavy, and I highly recommend, if any of you guys want an awesome cube and are big collectors, then I would highly recommend you guys go get this from the cubicle. Uh, they also gave me a good deal on it, so thank you very much to them. You can find a link down in the description where you can buy this yourself, 
and I recommend to buy it unstickered if you will be stickering it because stickering it alone took around like four to six hours and uh, Shane was getting everything perfectly and it really is perfect like I don't see any mistakes anywhere nothing's crooked so great job Shane on the stickering anyways uh, get it unstickered I believe it's cheaper and also it saves you a couple of hours of taking the stickers off and then having to deal with all the the residue left from the stickers because you guys all know how uh, more you stickers are but I believe on these smaller stickers there's not that much residue and uh, close to none when uh, you take them off anyways there is that short review for the more you 13 by 13 I thought I'd show you guys a bunch of cool patterns on it so I'm not going to actually show me doing them I will just come back with all the patterns one at a time so here is checkerboard on the Moyu 13 by 13 looks extremely nice there's a lot of things going on right now on this checkerboard so next on to the flower pattern so here is the flower pattern on the 13 by 13 I think it looks uh, really nice it's one of the best patterns on here pretty much every pattern is really nice on this because it's such a big cube but anyways there it is alright so here is the super flip on the 13 by 13 you guys may have seen this on my Facebook page, which you guys can find in the description. On there, I usually post uh, some updates and then some other cubes. I post about some cubes that I got that I have uh, yet to actually make a video about. So if you guys want to know some puzzles that I have that uh, I may have not uploaded a video of yet, go ahead and uh, check that in the description. Anyways, this looks amazing on this. And so now what I'm going to do before I end this video is I'm going to uh, solve all the edges and just have the center be super flipped. And I really want to see how that looks, so we shall see. Alright, so that didn't take as long as I thought it would because uh, I just decided to resolve the edges rather than flip each one multiple times. So this is what it looks like when just these centers are super flipped. I had to solve it and I had to solve it like a picture cube basically and uh, orient the centers, but there it is. It looks really cool. Anyways, there is the last pattern for this video. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's letters are R-A-T. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.